Eagle was again given a thorough checkout to ensure the functioning of all systems as Armstrong and Aldrin prepared to seal themselves off from Collins in the command module and for the two craft to pull apart. Flight controllers going around the horn, gonna go for undocking. Okay, retro, go. Fido, go. Guide, go. Control, go. Telcom, go. Jinsi, go. Ecom, go. Surgeon, go. Capcom, we go for undocking. Hello, Eagle Houston, we're standing by, over. The Eagle has wings. On its own now, but with Columbia near at hand, it coasted around to the backside of the moon, and there, while out of direct communication with the Earth, it fired its engine to slow its descent to a touchdown on the near side of the moon. Collins in Columbia continued in orbit, awaiting their return. Flight controllers, gonna go for landing. Retro. Go. Rhino. Go. Guide. Go. Patrol. Go. Telcom. Go. GNC. Go. Ecom. Go. Surgeon. Go. Capcom, we're go for landing. Altitude 4200. Houston, you're go for landing. Over. Roger, understand. Go for landing. 3,000 feet. You're looking great. How you doing, Control? We look good here. Fine. Uh, how about you, Telcom? Go. Guidance, you happy? Go. Fido. Go. 2,000 feet. 2,000 feet. Into the ag. 47 degrees. Roger. 37 degrees. It's still looking very good. Here go. Top alarm. 1201. 1201. Roger, 1201 alarm. 1201 alarm. Same type, we're go flight. Okay, we're go. We're go, same type, we're go. Altitude 1600. Eagle looking great. Roger, 1202, we copy it. 35 degrees, 750, coming down to 23. 540 feet down at 15. 1050 feet down at 4. Altitude velocity light. In and down. 220 feet. 11 forward coming down nicely. 200 feet. 4.5 down. 5.5 down. 100 feet. 3.5 down. 9 forward. 875 feet. That's looking good. Down a half. 6 forward. 60 seconds. Lights on, forward, forward, 40 feet down, two and a half, picking up some dust, face shadow, four forward, drift into the right a little, 30 seconds, forward, just, contact light, okay, engine stop, we copy it down, Eagle, Houston, uh, tranquility base here, the Eagle has landed,
This is Apollo Control Houston at uh, 105 hours. Uh, now into the flight to Apollo 11. Yeah, our current plan is to have uh, crew members aboard the Eagle to eat and relax for a little while prior to starting e EVA prep. So we won't know with certainty uh, or have a reasonable time hack until about uh, an hour before the schedule. Donc, l'homme pour la première fois prenne pied sur la Lune. Les rues sont loin des vides, naturellement, mais naturellement aussi, c'est surtout dans les halls d'hôtels, les bars et les appartements que les gens se groupent, c'est-à-dire partout où ils peuvent trouver un récepteur de télévision. Et nous attendons, nous attendons tous. And the world waited. July 20th, 1969. It is said that 500 million people gathered at TV sets around the world to wait for the first Earthling to set foot on the moon. Countless millions more listened on the radio to the voices from the moon. This is Neil, radio check. Neil, this is Houston, loud and clear. Break, break, buzz. Never before had so many people been attuned to one event at one time. The world waited, curious, wondering, aware, like a sleeper wakened in the night by a faraway sound. A moment sensed more than understood. Okay, Neil, we can see you coming down the ladder now. Okay, I just checked. Uh, getting back up to that first step. Uh, it's not uh, even collapsed too far, but uh, it's adequate to get back up. Roger, we copy. Pretty good little jump. I'm uh, at the foot of the ladder. The lamb foot beds are only uh, uh, depressed in the surface about uh, one or two inches. Uh, although the surface appears to be uh, very, very fine grained as you get close to it. It's almost like a powder. Ground mass uh, is very fine. I'm going to step off the limb. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. That's one small step for man, pequeño paso para one giant leap for mankind. O godzinie 4.17 rano czasu przylądka Kennedy astronauta Neil Thank you. 